their Sunday worship. Warrior Creek Missionary Baptist Church had service outside now that most of their building is gone. Fire crews told Way 31 they still don't know what caused the fire Tuesday night. Way 31's Brittany Collins went to the worship service and shows you how worshipers' faith is greater than fire. Church members and folks from the community cleaned up this mess from Tuesday night's fire. They even found these burnt pages from the hymn books. But if you look at this cross behind me, this is where the altar stood inside of the church building that was nearly destroyed. Hey, if anything don't change the world, if anything don't make us better, it'll be the preaching of the word. Amen. A message from his heart. Let everybody know that God Himself preached the word. Pastor Daryl Ross went to bed Saturday night not knowing what he'll preach about during Sunday's sermon. And when I woke up, um, I could just hear him. They need the word. While worshiping outside, the singing, praying, and love wasn't any different. But Warrior Creek gained healing. A lot of the old damage gone and a brand new beginning. Um, a new day, I guess, is the right word, a new day. I think everybody got some things fixed today. I really do. 95-year-old Deacon James Carson has worshipped at Warrior Creek for 22 years. Seeing the people from the church love each other during a tragic time warms his heart. It's just it's a good feeling. It's, it's a uplifting, actually. There's a, well, I don't know, there's just a joy in uh, fellowship. Pastor Ross said the church members have been a medicine for him. Still, as a shepherd, he's still struggling. Give me one service, let me get where I need to be. Let me lead the people of God where I need to. And I'll worry about the next one the next time. And as you can see, the old sanctuary is still standing, so church members will continue to worship outside until the smell of the smoke inside of this building is all clear. Right now, reporting in Coleman County, Brittany Collins, Way 31 News.